Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 and more custom maps. This is a proper drag strip in Forza Horizon 5, and it's going to blow your mind. So you got your burnout box over here. Do your burnout. In my case, it's a wheelie. But then you rock up to the line. You stage your car. Uh, I'm going to go there. And then in three, two, one, go. Uh oh, uh oh, stay in the lane, stay in the lane. How sick is that? And then rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, and across the line. Then we can turn around over here, take another path back to the start line. Then you pull up to the little box here. You get your time that you did. That's so sick. And then you drive down here. Then you get back to the start line so you can go and do another attempt. What a cool event. Like, look at this place. When we're asking the developers for a drag strip, this is what we mean by a drag strip. This map is beautiful. Take a casual little view of the drag strip that's insane. This and many other maps were submitted to this video over on the AR12 Discord server. So if you've made a map or you've played a map that you really like and think I should check out, make sure you submit it on the AR12 Discord server. And if it's really, really cool, I'll check it out in a future video like this. If you want to join the Discord server, there is a link down below. That is the best drag racing map I have ever played in this game. Are you ready to have your mind blown for this next map? Welcome to Toretto's Market. It's Family. There's no goddamn way. It's filled with all the family that you could ask for. I don't think you realize how similar the map in the game is and the map or like the building in real life is. They are identical. I genuinely do not understand how this man made it so accurate. I literally just want to go get all of the Fast and Furious cars and go pull up outside that building and just take photos. Not gonna lie, I could spend my whole day doing that happily. What's funny about the next map is this this map was actually featured on the AR-12 Discord server, but the developers found it and featured it in PG Editor's Choice. So you might have actually already played this. I haven't. Let's try it. Welcome to Willow Springs. If you've never seen this circuit, it is a real-life race circuit out in California. It's actually out in the desert. It's probably, you probably recognize it actually from Ford versus Ferrari. It was used a lot in that film right at the start of the movie. So this map, is made by Type Hard Fart, who's a super, super good map creator. I know this track from Gran Turismo wasn't one of my best tracks. I am exactly the same way, my dude. Every time I've driven around this circuit, I have had the world's biggest car crash. There's basically zero reference points around this circuit. It's super challenging. Like, look, I did it again! As much as I hate this circuit, this is beautiful. We've even got a pit lane. The pickup trucks on the side just add so much more, like, little details and emotion. That's awesome. Oh, I miss the jack boy. I hate this race circuit, but it's so cool. The fact that it's that smooth is honestly just mind-blowing. That is incredible. How about we put a pause in our high-speed stuff and let's go take some more photos. This next town is made by a guy named Bubbles. I'm gonna nail the pronunciation of this. The Barisa del Oceano Mansion. I don't know if that's correct. I think I did more Italian than Spanish, but I'll take it. Turn around right at the start in the lovely McLaren. Welcome to the seaside house. There is a rock feature going up the wall. How sick is that? And then drive on in. And then you have a beautiful place to take some photographs. It's like being in a proper workshop. Look at that. That looks sick. Okay, now it looks sick. <laughs> Chat, you're right. It literally looks like something straight out of GTA. With the cruise ship in the back, that is the billionaire's life. So, uh, don't mind me we're casually just speed running jail at the moment all right let's go find our house i don't actually know wh where the house is there's these big gates here those aren't usually there wait is this the driveway to the house if so that's sick oh my god he it is it is. There's a bridge leading over the water. And there's the house in the distance. And then welcome to our modern mansion. This is like the house of an evil uh, villain. <laughs> Anyways, we can come on in here. It is a glass floor. Okay, well, the, the sun... Uh, what? 
That's not how reflections work. And then again, you can take some super cool photos. That is a moist Chiron. If you like taking photos, this, oh my God, the colors actually work so well. When we ask for houses to purchase in the game, th this is what we mean. This is the type of house that we want to buy. All right, hold on. Can I take another cool photo like back here? That is full straight up villain's lair. It's got this super modern roof, a helicopter, Helicopter on the roof. Oh, that's so cool. This is the house I want to buy. Not a little shack out in the middle of the desert. I want this. Bubbles literally makes some of the coolest buildings in Forza Horizon 5. Developers, please just hire him. This next track is the Sand Hill Speedway. It is a short track oval out of the stadium for dirt NASCAR. Welcome to Moonshine Running, the early days of NASCAR. It's not exactly the fastest car I've ever taken, but this is a 0.3 mile oval. If you're a fan of NASCAR and you dubbed <laughs> FFF, it's got all of the little details like the pickup trucks on the side of the road again, all of the stands, the spotter tower and everything. I think we really need the Hudson Hornet in Forza Horizon 5. That guy's about to crash. <laughs> the guy who actually made this map also said he included a figure of eight version. So you can drive along here. Oi, watch out for that. And then drive through here. I do apologize, lads. Sorry, sorry. Coming through. A super simple map just executed so well. Bro, we just need Miss Fritter. <laughs> Don't be that guy who only drives the fastest cars. Sometimes you need to drive slow things. And this is awesome. This is the next map. It's a rocky hill climb. Can you do it? The guy who made this map, his name's Fried Rich. He said on the AR12 Discord server, he said, the first thing you should do is just try to drive your car through that. If it doesn't fit, you will not make it through this map. So um, good luck, I guess. This is actually my first time doing rock crawling on the Rally Adventure expansion. Wow, that is cool. If you like cool photo locations, I am once again delivering. This is one of the hardest rock crawling maps I think I've ever done. This is crazy. Like, I've got to carry speed to make it up here. But I fully cannot make that quarter. This is my first time ever. Oh, and we get it. We get it first try. Chat, it's literally an off-road playground for the biggest trucks in the game. I don't understand why we don't have something like this in the game already. Enter this cool looking thing. Wow. Wow. Chat, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Look at this area. Oh my God. Yo, look at the, look at the frame rate. The frame rate is lagging so much. Come on. Yes, we made. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Calculated. I think I'm willing to go out on a limb for this as well. I think this is the best rock crawling map I think I've played. Feels realistic, but at the same time, it's also like completely over the top. It looks beautiful. This is a big map. Like, look at the view. Yo, I'm only 52% of the way through this map. Are you kidding? Yo, there's the cool bridge. Here we go. Across the bridge. That is awesome. What a view. What a view. Beautiful. All right. Temporarily back on the road. And now we can actually pick up the speed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Making a map like this must be so incredibly hard. Because not only do you have to go and place all of these rocks, and all of the rocks are like inside of other rocks, but you've also got to just keep testing it over and over to make sure that it's actually possible and you're not slipping too much or anything like that. And wow, we did it finish line oh that was hard our final map for today is the spanish hill climb event again this map only has 24 plays now instead of treating this thing like a proper hill climb i'm gonna treat it like a drift zone everything that we're gonna be driving on is a custom built road with road markings Areas to go and explore. Man casually built a little town with a church? That's so cool. That's awesome. That is how you make a map feel properly alive. Oh, I'm actually in the little town. I need to leave the town and get back to the road. I love the fuel station. The fuel station even looks awesome. Keep the BMW safe. 
away from the walls. Oh, that was a tap. That was a tap. That's okay. What's actually really cool about this map is the guy who made it went on the AR-12 Discord server. He was like, guys, I kind of want to make this thing, but I don't know if I should. Like, should I? And then a bunch of people were like, yeah, you should make it. Like, that sounds really cool. And then he shared, like, all of these work in progress photos of him actually making the map and, like, getting feedback from other people. Super, super cool. I love that people are using the Discord server for that. And long story short, if you do it properly and you put the time in, you can make a properly cool map. Like, this is awesome. All the guy had to do is just change the map name from Spanish hill climb to Japanese hill climb, and I guarantee you, this would have had 20,000 plays and be featured in the festival playlist and this and that. We drifted up the entire hill climb. And there's the finish line. And across the line. Anyways, go and submit your map on the AR12 Discord server. Thanks. Okay, bye.